Constance Grammer, so no right hand side of any production rule has epsilon and no two non terminals are adjacent. So two conditions are given here that no right hand side of a production rule has epsilon. Okay, so there is no production rule which is looks like this. It is not there. Okay, and no, no, no two non terminals are adjacent. Okay, that means uh, you will never get something like A to B C, and all of them are non terminals. This is also not there. Okay, now look at this. Operator grammar, small but an important class of grammar. We may have only an effect, efficient operator precedence parser, a shift reduce parser for an operator and grammar. Okay, in an operator grammar, no production rule can have uh, these two things. We have already told you. Now, if you see here, not operator grammar, this one. Why? Because this rule is there. This is not. This, this rule should not be there. In operator grammar, this is not operator grammar. Why? Because uh, this is a, having something. To adjacent will not be there, and epsilon cannot be on the right side. Yes, <laughs> this O here, this is O, and this O means operator here, and this is a terminal. So three terminals, uh, sorry, uh, no, three, sorry, this is non-terminal. So three non-terminals coming in consecutively, which is not allowed according to this. Okay, so this is not operator grammar, and this is operator grammar, where you can see the production rules. You have E2, you have here e to e plus e okay so multiple non terminals are not appearing consecutively they are separated by operator here you can see another production rule here you have that is e to e multiplication e another you have that is e to e divide by e another you have that is e to id so all these four production rules are satisfying uh, or are not having these two problems so as they are not there present so these are this this production rule set or this grammar rules are, are called as operator grammar okay now precedence re relation in operator precedence parsing we define three disjoint precedence relation between certain pair of terminals like a less than b that means terminal b has higher precedence than terminal a okay then a equals b that means terminal b has same precedence like a and a greater than b that means terminal b has lower precedence than terminal a so the <coughs> determination of correct precedence relation between terminals are based on the traditional notions of associativity and precedence of operator. So when you have studied uh, this courses like uh, C language or data structure, you came through the notions of associativity and precedence of operators. Like right? so, this uh, you know uh, operator grammars are also uh, be treated using these traditional rules when uh, you know the parser will be generated okay <clears throat> so the intention of uh, precedence relation uh, is to find the handle of right sentinel form okay so this precedence relations are basically helps us to find the handle the uh, uh, handle for the right sentinel form otherwise how we will reduce now less than with uh, marking the left end and equal appearing in the interior of the handle and greater than making the right hand okay so in this situation now in a 
in our input string, if you see, um, it is kept in both end mark. Okay, we insert the precedence relation between the pair of terminals. So the precedence relation holds between the terminals in the in that pair. Okay, now how we can uh, establish it? You know, like this. You know, ID you have and you have plus. So who is having higher precedence? ID is have high, having higher precedence, so we write greater than here. Okay, so basically ID will have a higher precedence than any of the operator, so greater than certain here. Now if you look at this, here ID, here plus, definitely again you know, ID is getting higher precedence, but here plus and plus, then you know any one of them can be you know of a higher precedence. Now here this one is important, plus and multiplication sign. Then you can see the multiplication sign is getting higher precedence. Okay, so in this way the precedence are maintained in a table. Okay, now the so grammar is given here with these production rules we have already seen. Okay, the part, the partial operation uh, operator precedence uh, table for the grammar is given here. This is partial table, then one full table. Okay, then the input string id plus id multiplication id with the precedence relation is ins, uh, inserted will be look look like this you know so we had only like this id plus id multiplication id so what we do we check uh, you know that uh, whether uh, first there is nothing, so we treat that our dollar is here and, and dollar is here. Now we have a pair of uh, you know terminals dollar and ID. So dollar and ID, if you see, uh, ID is having higher precedence, right? So I will write, you know, uh, dollar is having less uh, lower precedence than ID. Then ID and plus is another pair of. Uh, I know terminals. So if you see here, if you check, you know, ID is having higher precedence than, than plus. So it comes like this. Okay. So in the same same way, ID and uh, plus, uh, you know, this for this plus also. Uh, oh, we keep this plus here. Then this plus and ID comes here. ID is having higher precedence. Then ID and uh, multiplication sign comes here. Again, ID is having higher precedence. Multiplication and ID, another pair. So ID is having higher precedence. ID and dollar sign is there. Again, ID is having higher precedence. So we rewrite our input like this. Okay? Like this. Then, both end of the input string add the dollar. We have already done it. Now scan the input string from the left uh, to right until the you know, greater than is encountered. Okay. Now scan towards left over all the equal precedence until the first left encounters, you know, left uh, first leftmost uh, less than is encountered. Okay. So everything between the leftmost, uh, you know, leftmost uh, less than and rightmost greater than is a handle okay and dollar on dollar means the pairing is successful okay so when you will get uh, both the side dollar and here you know some operator you will find as uh, sorry some uh, terminal you will say that it is successful okay now if you see how it is going to happen we do left to write uh, you know scan right and here you can see here this red uh, red uh, colored uh, uh, symbols are being scanned. Okay, so scan the string from left end. So this is the left end. Okay, until you get first greater than is encountered. Okay, so this is the first greater than. Okay, then scan backward to the left. Okay, over any equal until you get the less than 
is encountered so again you just uh, backward way you just uh, read and get a less than sign okay <clears throat> the handle contains everything to the left of the first you know uh, greater than sign you have uh, encountered so left of the first greater than sign means this one okay and to the right of the less than encountered so this is the you know uh, and this less than sign encounter and right of this again this id okay <clears throat> so we got a handle so we have to reduce it so we had this production rule e to id okay so we'll just uh, you know replace this id okay with this c so you can see in the next line we are writing in place of id okay so again we do this same kind of uh, reading and this time you will get uh, first you know greater than symbol at this point okay so you will again come back up to this and you will get this id as a handle so again you do each id okay so this id is replaced by this e you can note uh, okay so again the same process will handle and you will get this id so and you will reduce again the same way okay so you can see this id is uh, replaced by this e <coughs> okay so you have e plus e multiplication e here okay now here you see in this side you have plus and you know multiplication here and if you process the same thing you will get this as a id okay so based on this operator now you got operator now based on this operator you are going to reduce so with the operator definitely we are going to choose two operand as well left and right operand so it gives you e multiplication e okay so you get reduced it by e multiplication e so this is replaced by e definitely right so <laughs> again you get uh, only uh, plus as a operator here so based on that uh, you have chosen this rule and e plus e is replaced by e okay so here is uh, not re not required uh, to write this e for the final one okay so this e is written here okay so at this point you can say that it is accepted that uh, given uh, input string what was it? it was id plus id multiplication id is in correct syntax okay and this is what is followed when you know you use uh, you know any arithmetic expression uh, to check uh, the uh, you <coughs> check for uh, syntax of a given arithmetic expression okay so this is the algorithm written here so i'm not going to read it okay so operator precedence parsing algorithm example is given here you can see the same thing you know the reduce operation what i have done just before you know to me and the previous problem the same thing is